Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Scotty Show. Today, I have a very special guest. Uh, she she's a Twitch streamer. She does she does a lot of different things. She, she makes music. Um, without further ado, Kyoko's Garden. How's it going? It is going. I'm right. I'm I'm, tri I'm chilling. I'm staying hydrated with that liquid death. Oh, liquid death! Um, I love liquid death. Yeah, it's pretty great. So I was like, yeah, you know, make it look edgy. I'm like, I'm drinking alcohol. I'm not. I'm drinking water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jokes on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for the people that don't know who Kyoko is, uh, who, who's Kyoko? Beats me. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, just a, a multimedia artist. At this point, I figured out, like, all the things I do, like, yes, Twitch and music, but, like, voice acting, video editing. 3D you do voice stuff. acting? Yeah. I've been uh... doing it since January, but, like, mainly, like, just, like, lessons and classes because i'm like i'm not gonna just be that person that just jumps in it's like all right i'm a voice actor i'm gonna do mm -hmm. this like it's like voice acting is everybody's like oh let's just use your voice it's really not yeah but, yeah um but yeah i just do a lot of things i model sometimes um that's crazy the voice acting thing is crazy because i used to do like voice impersonations and stuff like that and i think that like because I, I i wanted to be a voice actor uh when i was in high school like i wanted to uh work for like cartoon network and adult swim when I was younger, because I wanted to do like like that kind of stuff, but yeah, that's that's dope. Um, so how did you get into like the things that you're into? Like, what was it first for you? Was it the music? Was it the, the toy streaming? What what was what was like the first like thing that like you know you got into? Drawing. Drawing. Oh. Yeah, all the tat. I have like a lot of tattoos. Mm -hmm. Um, like on my neck, kind of my face and stuff like that. Like I just oh, draw up like stuff and just like. I'd rather be, like, my own canvas instead of just always drawing in a book. So I was like, I'll just do this and then put it in my body. Um, it all has meaning, by the way. And I'm mm -hmm. not going to get into that meaning tattoo thing because it's a debate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but to each their own. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, I actually started out drawing in first grade and then worked my way up to um, – keep drawing and every time in freaking school it's like oh you draw i'm like first of all don't you see me with the pencil and a piece of paper and you see an art piece on the paper right yeah. is that is that what i'm doing <laughs> it looks like i'm drawing right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah but yeah and then um i got into music in middle school and then i started i actually started producing not a lot of people know this i went under a different name I'm not going to say that name, but uh, <laughs> if you ever want to hear something, I'll, I'll send it, like, to you. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I used to produce on my, like, I started out on my phone uh, making beats and stuff. They're not, like, they're not, they're cool. They're, like, they're not, like, uh, I don't know if you ever seen that meme where it's, like, Jay-Z and, like, the guy's like this. He's like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That meme, it's not yeah, like yeah. that at all. It's actually, like, it's good. It's just, like, you hear a lot of beats nowadays and there are like there's so much like bass in it and like synthesizers mm -hmm. and stuff like that so yeah. i just did the bare minimum but they were good to the point where it's like oh like she has an ear for this so mm -hmm. let's take her to the next step and then um 2017 first year of my life and then i started singing after a tragic passing and then i was just like all right i'm singing and then yeah uh the video editing came in high school all the extra art stuff came in high school um I went to an IB League school for half of my high school year and then the, an art school afterwards. What? Yeah. So you're like a prodigy, kind of. I'm a threat. I'm not, that sounds really cocky and like I've tried to be like not cocky and like have an ego and stuff, but it's like yeah. I don't give myself enough credit and everybody in like, you know, yeah. all the collectives and like people like that, that we know in the scene, like, mm -hmm. like you should give yourself more credit. I'm like, I just... It's hard. It's like hard. To, I, I get where you're coming from, though. Like it's hard to do it, and sometimes it, like like you feel cringe, kind of like yeah. like I hate like I hate like talking my shit because then I'm just like, did I just, just like sounds... cringe myself? Like <laughs> yeah, it's not like you're cocky. Like you're like, oh, I'm this and I'm that. Like that's why yeah. I'm like multimedia artist. That's it. Like it's just it's a lot of things. If you want me to break it down to you, I will. Um, but yeah yeah that's it <laughs> yeah that's good yeah no yeah I, I definitely like feel you on that like just like talking like your shit more and like being more like outspoken with like how like you know what what you're what, what you're doing and what you can do that's crazy I didn't know that you went to like like a Ivy League school and stuff like that and 
like pretty much you, you sound like an art prodigy and like you just know like what you know how to like do things and m multiple different things you can draw you can do digital art you can you know edit like i didn't know you could edit videos you just said that and i'm like holy shit you yeah can all the videos on my twitch or on my twitter it's uh i just did it all on my phone Oh, that's crazy. Like, and, and sometimes I be trying to, like, figure that stuff out, and I'm just like, I give up. I'm like, I'm not even going to do that. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'd rather just pay somebody to do this for me, like, like at the end of the day. Like, I feel like I have, like, a talent for talking and, like, you know, doing music, and I do stand-up and stuff like that. But, like, when it comes to, like, doing, like, the media side of things, I'm not that good at that. Like, I'm not good at, like, uh, letting people into my life like on the internet unless I'm like talking to a camera like I can't like type my life you know what I'm saying and I can't like digitally like express like myself like it's hard for me to like do that like and some people they can like you you can do both you can express yourself with like you know talking your art and then you can come on here on the digital platform and you know express yourself and people can digest it I feel like that is like what separates like a lot of people you know, really, like, you know, like, super talented people, like, like I can't figure that shit out, I cannot figure out, like, that shit, like, I, how did you, like, you know, like, knew, like, how did you know that you had, like, a talent for these kind of things, like, what, like, what, like, set it off in your mind, like, oh, I can, I can do this, and I can, like, you know, potentially make a profit off of this, I can, you know, curate a, a, a community around me, like, how did you know you could do that? That's a, that's actually a good question, I'm, I'm glad it's not, like, so who are you, and what do you do and stuff? It's like, all right. Um, so we're, pr we're probably going to get like words of wisdom over here because I'm about to like probably preach or whatever. Um, <laughs> if you're cool with that. No, no, no. no. That's what I'm saying. Like that's, what, like, that's what this whole thing is like for, you know what I'm saying? Like for, for artists and stuff to like, you know, talk their shit and like, you know, let people know like their real story. Like a lot of people can like just come up on here and be like, oh, like, I like, you know, work for it, but how did you work for it? Or they could be like, oh, I just, you know, prayed for it. Like, well, you didn't just pray for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an artist. I'm a prodigy. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it just doesn't happen like that. You got to like put the work in. There's days of depression. There's days of happiness. There's, there's days of sadness that people don't like to talk about um and and you know and some people like i you know they talk about it and that's cool because like a lot of people that look up to like these artists like they think that you know everything's all fine and dandy and like sometimes they don't know that like uh most artists think about quitting making music because mm. the first week that they're starting they get no plays they don't get no like they don't get recognized or anything like that they don't know about like you know that that people go through like those kind of things and that like it doesn't just always come easy as like as it may seem. Wow. So you're back taking words right out of my mouth though. <laughs> <laughs> but we're back to the question. <laughs> uh, so just refresh the question for me because you, you okay, went I, off I and you. I was I, like, I, I, I relate. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Um, so how did you know you had like a talent uh for what you do? And like how did you know that you could potentially make money like and, and curate a community around you? Um well, I guess it's, like, it all came from, like, one person. Mm. Um, you know, like I said, I had, a, like, a passing. Mm -hmm. And, like, I started drawing and, like, fiddling with music. And I was in, like, um, band classes and stuff like that. Mm. And uh, it was, like, it was my uncle. And we were, like, super close and stuff. And he just always, like, pushed me. Because it's, like, you get those people that, like, especially I get those people still. I don't know about you, but it's, like, oh, that's cool. Like, that's the reaction. But then, like, he was, mm -hmm. like, yo, like. I love this, like, just really yeah. just, like, you know, really put that support in his voice and stuff, and, like, was, like, all right, I'm gonna show people at my job, and blah, 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 I'm, like, yo, like, that's, that's the way, like, I love that, that's so cool, mm -hmm. and, um, and he caught me singing a few times, and uh, he was, like, you should be on The Voice, I was, like, absolutely not, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, so, um, sorry, water, You're good. Um, and then, like, he passed away, and it was just, like, all this, like, stupid, eventful, tragic stuff happened, and it really just, like, pushed me towards music. It's, like, he always kept, like, telling me, like, you don't have to limit yourself, like, as an artist. Like, you draw all the time, but what else can you do? And I was, like, okay, like, I, like, I grew up listening to, like, a lot of heavy metal and stuff like that. I, I love, I love mm -hmm. it a lot. I love 
on the on the new album i'm screaming by the way so just be yeah. aware <laughs> just a little bit just a little bit um but that like i guess listening to like a lot of heavy metal because everybody's like why do people scream blah blah i'm like it's just it's just a different like form, form of, of like, expression yeah i'm like it's yeah. not it's not rocket science okay um <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry i'm like a dick but i'm just like it's just it's not rocket science like a lot of shit um yeah, yeah. but i guess it's like just not limiting myself um because i'm like if i limit myself that's like that's keeping me from growing as an artist in general mm. like that's but that's just my opinion though everybody else can you know have their own opinion on that but i just i always want to grow i always want to learn something new and like it's just it's really important like it helps you grow not even just as an artist but like just as a person in general like you go mm -hmm. through so much bullshit that's like you're like oh this is super unnecessary you know i'm super depressed and nobody mm -hmm. is pl listening to my music and stuff like that like use that to keep going and i use everything like when i first was in the scene and charlie might listen to this because he has his little definition of the scene i also do as well when i say the scene i think i say i mean like neutrals like you're a mutual. Mm -hmm. Charlie is like um, my friend Chino. Everybody, like every, like I notice everybody. I know the names and stuff. I'm like, that's what I mean by the scene. Yeah, so yeah, when, yeah. when I got into this scene, I um, it was hard because I'm a girl. All right, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of sexist guys in the underground scene. I that made me want to quit instantly because it's like, oh, you're a girl. Like, oh, if I listen to you, it's like it's a problem or it's not masculine or some shit. And I'm like, whoa. All right. <laughs> like, All right. Guys that say stuff like that are, are I, I automatically classify them as like weird as hell because some of like the artists I listen to this uh, girl named Ethel Kane. She just dropped her new album, and like I like li like like there are like female artists that can express music in ways that men can't do. Cause like I grew up listening to like Sade and like uh, like like women like that. Cause like my mom would just like play stuff like that around and like i would just be like oh my god like girls can like express music in this way guys express music in that way why can't it like you know like why can't they coexist they coexist in my world and some other people's world they don't coexist which doesn't like compute in my brain because i'm just like music is music to me at the end of the day yeah like it's not like some like oh this is a female artist i'm like no this is a this is or this is a female artist or this is a male artist i'm like no this is an artist you right. know what I'm saying? Like, right. why are you like, like, th th like you already, you already are like judging someone just by saying, oh, this is a male artist or this is a female artist. So you already have like this pre like thing of like what you think about what a man is or what you think about what, what a female is. But at the end of the day, art is art. And like, I like in, in, in the way I look at art, like I don't look at it as like, this is like female male. I'm just like, this is just like something like that. It's its own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't look at it as like, oh, this is this is a gender like like you know like gender wars like type shit. No. <laughs> like, well, like, I'm but, glad that you have that perspective. Sorry to cut you off, but oh, I was no, like, you, I, you, you, you are good. Um, but like, there's not guys like you out there, you know. It's just like, why? And then like next, thing you know, you listen to the you listen to their music and it's garbage anyways. Like, why are you still talking? Like, why are you doing this? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, come on, and like. Those are just trolls, though. You can't even, like, really, like, feed into that. Like, that is, like, kind of, like to me, that's unrealistic because I, I have a lot of homies that do listen to female <clears> artists <throat> and, like, like and, and, like, guys that do say those kind of things. I feel like they just trolling and, like, they are, they are projecting because there's guys that, that project on other guy artists and that, and they'll be like, oh, dude, like, you shouldn't even do this because, like, like or, or, like, a, a guy artist might say to another guy artist, uh, you, you shouldn't, like, do music this way because I tried to do it and it didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? Just because yeah. it didn't work out for you that way doesn't mean it won't work out for this person that way. Like, right. and they try to, like, project, like, like, like how they view music is because you pretty much said their music is trash and they're not getting no plays. So, like, they're already projecting and they want you to stop what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So they can be, yeah. so y'all can still be on the same level playing field, but y'all not. You are on a higher level playing field at the end of the day it's funny that you say that like i feel like i kind of answered your question but we're probably going to escalate mad time so you know <laughs> um uh yeah i've noticed that lately like a lot of uh people in the scene are like i don't like they like want to see win kind of but they're like but you can't 
like be better than me or some shit like that i'm like yeah. mm. so when this album drops i'm like taking a hiatus because i'm i'm done like i'm done with the that energy like that's not like yeah. that's not what i want to be around that's not who i want to be like i like i have to compete like i love music i love making it and it's like mm-hmm. when i have like these like cloud wave beats and stuff like that speaks to me it brings out like the pain that's still inside of me and just like helps me but it's like <sighs> some of these people i'm not gonna say names but you know it's just this is really annoying and like i see it all and it's like they're like oh pff, you can't see it i'm like i have glasses on i see everything <laughs> in <laughs> hd <laughs> yeah no like like it, it it is um like it, and that's why like i i started like doing like this little podcast thing and like the music review thing because like i want to really create like a a community where we do support like artists and stuff like that and like you obviously want like you want like a a friendly competition you don't want a competition to where you're going to someone else and you're smearing someone's name and then you're making them you know like like people not fuck with like their music that's not the kind of competition that i'm talking about that is like cutthroat like you know you're trying to kill somebody kind of competition (laughs) Friendly comp like uh, friendly competition to me is you're pushing the boundaries of like music of like how oh this person is singing on this oh I want to like do this and like sing like this the, the the people that are around you are inspiring you to push yourself that is the kind yeah. of like competition that I like to see I want to see people like you know inspire each other to like try new things with music not you know talk shit about each other about yeah. music you know what I'm saying yeah yeah like that's the kind of like you know like <coughs> like friendly comp is like is it, friendly competition is the best competition because at the end of the day it makes everyone better um how do you feel like like what what, what got you into like you know who who who, who like inspired you like like artist wise like who inspires you mm, that's that's another good question um wow it that's that's hard because <laughs> it's like a lot of bands mostly um and then like some underground artists and like so like paramore um yeah, paramore every, everybody everybody knows everybody yeah. should know paramore if you don't yeah, well paramore get with fire. it yeah. um <laughs> and uh lincoln park yeah the lincoln park Paramore's. fire yeah r.i.p uh r.i.p bro man i can't believe i can't believe i went out like that man r.i.p yeah i'm like if you also if y'all ever need help like you can reach out to me bro like you know if you ever going through it yeah. um but uh, there's this band called I Wrestled the Bear once. It's more like a very screamy, a girl screamer, by the way. She's very mm. amazing. Um, it's just like all these bands. And then you got like Bones. Like I love oh, Bones. Bones. Like, oh, I wanted to collab with him, but I'm like, he's too cool for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then there's, uh, I like Mac Miller. I love his like lyricism. Mm-hmm. He's like, RP him as well. Like, yeah. Man, stay off the drugs, bro. Yeah, um, <clears throat> there's and then there's like some people like on like smaller artists uh we got my friend downport but he goes by northbrook um he's very amazing i i've actually been listening to him like all week and i was just like it's like nice to hear when like somebody's like oh like <clears throat> i've been blasting like kyoko all day and i was like wow you really feeling something today huh <laughs> 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 um <laughs> it's, and like i don't know like it's just oh bunch of artists just like my friend tone deaf we always like hate each other yeah, but shout we, out tone like, deaf. we don't hate each other it's mad, <laughs> it's mad love but we uh i feel like there's kind of like friendly competition there because like you know i'm hopping on like all these like wave beasts that have like hard like uh like respaces and stuff like that and mm-hmm. just like, try to hop on that too and then we just back and forth and i'm just like yeah i am like in a discord with like all these producers that like help me get those beats so i'm just like mm. that's no offense but that's my one up right there <laughs> um but like i said like i don't know it's just a bunch of artists and there's so many there's so many talented people and i'm just like i i got to a point when i was like it was back in 2018 where i was like comparing myself i'm like i need to stop that like in 2019 happened i'm like i that's not me i need to to step back and like reevaluate myself because no (laughs) and then yeah i just kind of um i just got to know everybody like there's yeah. Tone Deaf, there's my friend Sheena, there's Cash, there's Hellbound Angel. Um, I know, Hel- yeah, Hel- shout out Hellbound, yep. Yeah, yep. That, that's my twin right there. <laughs> um, and then there's Masquerade Butterfly. Uh, so pretty much people are, like, in my collective, like, we are collective, but we're actually, like, we're, we're family. Like, we, mm-hmm. it's like everybody, 
you know, I appreciate all the collectors out there. Like, you know, you do you, but like, it's not like we're, we're quiet because like, we're all going through our own shit too. And, Mm -hmm. um, and it's like, Hey, like if you need me, like I got you. But then we had those people that were just like in there just to be in there. And I'm like, I don't want that because it's not, it's not a collective. You just like, cause like, that's like one of my things that uh, I had like, like this thing about like collectives where I, I like I was calling them like glorified like roommates because a lot of people would just have like these collectives and like they weren't like you know really working and they weren't you know it wasn't for the betterment of the group it was for the betterment of a single person getting over on one other person in the group and then they're getting over on the next person the next person and then like you know then they're out of the group because they they you know they you know used up all the resources pretty much and then the, the group is all broken up. I'm just like, oh, collectives are, you know, I I, I didn't like collectives at first until like until this year. Um, well, 2021, I started looking into like the collectives more. And I was just just because and then like I, I was going to because I, I, I was getting lost. And when you said you didn't want you stop comparing yourself to other people, because I used to have like that same thing, too. Where you know you and, and and people don't want to admit that they like to compare themselves to other people or like and I've seen people like make up like fake beef because they think that someone is thinking something about them when that's not even the case because you get so lost in and like this art and like you you get caught up in wanting to be noticed and things like that and when you slow down and then like you you know you reevaluate everything that you're doing you realize that at the end of the day, only you can control what you do, and, like, I don't know, like, like, the, like, it's just that, like, a lot of people just don't talk about that, like, how they actually, like, really feel about, uh, like, music, and what it is to be a creator, and how you compare yourself to other people, and stuff like that, and I just like hearing that, because it's real, and a lot of people don't admit that they compare themselves to other people, they don't, they won't admit it, they'll just be like, oh, uh, I, I like they'll say like a like a pretty like you know blank statement like I don't dislike anybody but you don't like anybody you don't you don't you know what I'm saying like <laughs> like I I rather someone like come out come out and say yeah I used to like compare myself to people and I used to think that people used to think this about me and and, and, and when in reality they never thought that about you like they just they they just you know it it was just miscommunication I feel like a lot of this stuff is just miscommunication when it comes oh 100 percent. A hundred percent. Yeah, and a lot of people just like not talking to each other. And that's like I said, another reason why I want to like make this thing so people can like, you know, th- so there can be a line of communication between these collectives, these people over the internet. Because like I said, because w- what you said was like th- the scene, the the internet scene. Cause like you you like do you do you view it as like an internet, like the internet underground scene? Like how do you see it? Like I said, I see it as like Yes, but like as neutrals, like like I said, mm-hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm aware of names and like you know some people that I don't talk to, but I'm like oh like I've heard their music or stuff like that, or I've been in uh, a yeah. little chat thing with them. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what is it? What was it like? So are, so you're on the East Coast. What is it like? You know, have you ever like done like live shows? Been to live shows out like out where you're at? I've been to live shows, but I've never performed, actually yeah. performed. I've only performed high school shows. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, but not, but not like recently. It was like when I was still in high school. Um, okay, okay. But uh, yeah, I, I want to, but I'm I'm honestly pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what what do you think? Like, hold you like so like besides like being pussy? Like, are you just scared of like fan rejection? Are you scared of like are you scared of people not vibing out to it? Like, what are you really scared of? Well, fan rejection, vibing out, like, my upstate New York is, is different. It's, uh, everybody thinks they're better than each other, and I'm, like, I'm not about that at all. Like, I don't think I'm better than anybody. Like, I've been told, like, you should, like, you're better than half of these people, and I'm, like, that's cool, but I will never think that because, like, that makes, that, like, I feel like forms an ego, and then it becomes egotistical, mm-hmm. and then you're conceited, and then blah, 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 and I'm, like, yeah. no. Gotta keep it real. Yeah, keep it real, but like I said, upstate, it, they, they, uh, they, some of them think they're better than each other. They, it's kind of like California, like where if you go to like a red carpet and like there's somebody like you're meeting somebody, shaking their hand, and they're looking around. They're not there to like really shake your hand or give a fuck about you. They're looking for whoever to network next. That's how it mm-hmm. is kind of up here too. And I'm like, that's why I'm like afraid. I'm like, 
I'm kind of like getting out of my comfort zone, which is my room yeah. and um, networking, but like being cautious, being aware, like, yeah. like no, you the energy is off. Mm. I'm done with that. The energy is off. I already can read energy URL. Like, mm -hmm. no, like, I, I, and, and I definitely agree with that. Like I could like, you know, look at like, and it's kind of weird. I get what you're saying. Like you could look at someone's like shit and be like, oh, this is not a good person or this is a good person. Or I don't know. I don't really know about this kind of person. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, one thing I would definitely say, definitely get out of your comfort zone. Um, Cause like when I was, you know, I still make music and stuff like that, but I slowed down a little bit on making it. And like, I came at like a crossroads. I'm like, do I still want to like, like, I was trying to like figure out what I want to do. Like I performed in front of crowds and stuff like that. I've gotten like, you know, the hundred K plays. And then like, like I was just like this thinking, I'm like, you know, like, what do I do next? And then I did stand up comedy. <laughs> And then tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. I I I I'm I one of the, I can't even one thing like I can't do. I'm like I can't do like just like jokes on the fly. Like, I know. I, I, it's, I, like, I, <laughs> yeah. it's like people tell me sing. I was like, who the fuck? Like who are you yeah. talking to? <laughs> yeah, but like when when you're like standing out there in front of people. Like you can, you, you're going to tell a joke and it might bomb and no one's going to laugh, but you have to just keep on trying and you have to like keep on building on that because like, that's like real life experience, like standing in front of people and stuff like that. I would, you know, like I would definitely do that if I was you, especially like, you know, being in upstate New York, you know, there's a lot of opportunities, you know, that you can, you know, I, I don't know, like is upstate New York, like, is that like a good like area for music? And I don't, I don't know nothing about like, is that like a good area for I don't personally I don't think so um there's like is people upstate that, New York like is that like uh like is that like Brooklyn like I don't know uh, like it's, about, uh, uh, it's near Syracuse and Buffalo in between oh Syracuse and Buffalo okay so definitely all right so I had a homie um that I, I was friends with he he moved to Chicago and he is from Buffalo I think he said that like Buffalo in that area is, isn't a good place for like music but yeah so yeah <laughs> Yeah, so, like, if you wanted to go somewhere for music in New York or anywhere else, like, where would you go? Colorado. Colorado? Why, why Colorado? Well, I've only heard good things uh, about Colorado. Um, I know people there, and, like, it's just the art scene there seems to be better in, like, with the less egotistical vibes and the less conceited vibes. And, like, like everybody's just chilling and just, like, helping yeah. each other out and shit i'm like that's what i want to be around like people can do it on the internet but only for so long and then it's like and then it's just like oh well i used you up next like freaking andy he's like oh i don't want you anymore or whatever that toy story shit is <laughs> that's wild shit um i just got like this random ass like thing on my like on my thing that like popped up i'm just like what the hell is that <laughs> <laughs> um but so like so like Colorado, um, where, like, would you like like ever like plan on moving out there? I, I want to. Um, just gotta take care of things here. Um, but it's uh it's a very anxiety inducing like just even attempting to make any big move, um, if that's moving out of state or just moving out of the house or performing or anything it like like that. It's just like. I know I always fight every day with my anxiety, but like lately it's been on and off with like, I'm going to get shit done because my anxiety is not going to win type shit. So mm. like it's, that's what I've been dealing with. So like, yes, but the anxiety is like, you know, you can't do it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, like it, it like, and, and that's like, like the self doubt and stuff like that. Like, I would always, um, like, so I would get, like, booked for, like, a comedy show, and then, like, when it's, like, two days or three days before, I would always try to, like, talk myself out of, like, making up an excuse to not go, <laughs> and then, and then, like, uh, I, I was just, like, you know what, I just can't, I can't do this, I can't, like, I can't talk myself out of this no more, like, I just gotta just go, and then one thing I realized is that, like, I'm, I'm I end up being happy that I went at the end of the day. I'm, I end up always just being happy. I'm like, okay, I need to stop robbing myself of these like amazing feelings that I could have and just enjoy the moment. Like, yeah. that, 
Yeah, that's like one of the things that like I've really been like uh, focusing on is just like being in the moment and then just like not running away from pressure. Yeah. Um, since we have like seven minutes left. Um, no, yeah, I don't know why it's like showing that. So like, if that runs out, we're gonna because I, I want this to be like an hour. So if that like does that, we're just gonna re. We're, I'm gonna like either re-record this thing and like we're just gonna add on to it. I don't know why that showed up. Um, okay, I was I was like I was surprised you zoom because I would like I usually use Discord. For I didn't know that you could like so you could do like video like Discord chat. Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. See, like, I'm a, I'm a boomer when it comes to, like, that kind of shit. Like, <laughs> You're good. Like, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm also, like, the anxiety thing is, like, also because of COVID. And, like, COVID, it, COVID's not gone. You know, it's just, it's still here. And people are still dying. And people are getting sick and stuff. And, yeah. like, that's, like, I don't like planes. Um, I had a bad experience when I was, like, itty-bitty Keo. Like, very smaller Keo. Yeah. And uh, it was just, like terrifying and i puked and it was it's not great <laughs> oh, um, it's like i've the never turbulence. been on a plane so <laughs> it's i mean my experience i mean everybody else experience everybody's like i don't give a fuck like or people take xanax so like, i might but like i've had my uh fair share of xanax which is not fun so i'm just like i don't think i want to do that i think i might just have to face you know my fear and just do it yeah, yeah, uh, Xanax is definitely, like, I've had my fair share of that, too, and it's not cool. Nah, <laughs> like, that was, like, 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 when, when, it wasn't, like, uh, like, the, I don't know if there was, like, the fentanyl thing was going on, but, like, when I was, like, 18, 19, I think, that is, like, you know, like, the time that we were doing it, and, like, you, it was pretty much, like, like, a blackout, like, you just blacked out, like, you didn't even know, like, and then, like, you know, when, you, when we were 20, we was, like, yo, like, fuck that shit, we not with that shit no more, and then, and then, <laughs> then boring, Lil, yeah, and then, and then Lil Pete died, and shit like that, and I was just, like, damn, yeah, fuck all, like, the, like, we just smoking weed, and, you know, we sip yeah. a little bit of alcohol here and there, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 um, what was it like, you know, growing up in, in upstate New York? Wow. Um, <laughs> sheesh. Um, it, it, I don't even know where to fucking start. It's uh, growing up here my whole life, unfortunately. Uh, very, very, very up and down. Um, not a good childhood. Um, but, like, I don't know. I don't, I guess I've been so focused on, like, my career and stuff that, like, I just kind of put all that behind me, but, like, Yeah, it's, it kind of, uh, like, stays in the back of your mind, and, like, you can't, like, rep I, I know what you're talking about, like, yeah. where you just, like, kind of, like, try to, like, forget it all, and you just try to move forward. Yeah, um, yeah. well, it was, um, I guess, like, as younger Keo, you know, it says down here miracle, but, you know, we call me Keo, um, but it was rough, and then as I got older, I was just like, everybody's like, their emo phase, like, everybody's all emo and stuff, yeah. and I'm like, well, I still am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm in my 20s right now, I'm still emo. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know, it was just, uh, it's, it has its good and bad times, I am a troublemaker, well, I guess I still consider myself a troublemaker, but like, smarter. <laughs> yeah. and uh you know when you're young you're stupid regularly stupid and making stupid choices saying stupid things like um I don't know I think uh I was kind of sheltered for a while because like I was uh I was adopted mm -hmm. and so I was like protect this one specific person a little bit more be more strict with them um which now it's like I get the tough love and I get like all that like tough shit and like why my aunt and uncle treated me the way they did and stuff but I'm just like that I felt like that kept me from like being an artist like yeah I was drawing a lot but I never got to like have life like, experience yeah I never got to like share my art with people I never like online stuff like create like a online brand stuff like everybody else did like back mm -hmm. in the day and so like I just like they're like oh what are you doing on your phone or what are you doing like type of shit and I'm like that's not like because I see all these younger people and it's like you know, congrats on their success, but first of all, they're an industry, and they're most likely an industry plant. Second mm -hmm. of all, they probably were given success to them, yeah. or, or potentially they actually worked hard for it, but it's, like, it's kind of discouraging, because, like, I could have been that person, like, younger, like, you know, being mm -hmm. successful, because, like, I had the talent. I just had to get out of the house and, like, yeah. 
experience and do that stuff so it was like like it's it was fun but it was tough and it's like it is what it is but I look like I'm still 20 or 20 I'm 18 19 I still look like a teenager <laughs> <laughs> no like in in um see where because where I'm from like uh I live in Pure Illinois that's where uh Richard Pryor is from I don't know if you know about Richard Pryor stand-up comedy but uh, he's pretty much like the king of like comedy, like in like the whole like LA like scene. Um, so like here, like in the Midwest, like I don't know like how it is up there in like upstate New York, but like we don't we don't lock our doors because like when I was growing up, we didn't lock our doors because we wasn't scared about someone running up in our house because everyone had a gun. We weren't worried about kids getting kidnapped because everyone had a you know everyone knew each other. You know what I'm saying? Like every we like we when we were growing up as kids. All right, guys, we back at it again with Kyoko's Garden. Um, so hey, to the, all the viewers and stuff, I've never had like this happen with Zoom where it was like, hey, uh, upgrade to Zoom. Like, all right, you know, we're using Discord next me. time. I think it's because of me. I don't have like the. I, I think it's because I, I think it might be me because I don't have like that upgrade thing. I didn't know oh. that you, I, I didn't know that you needed that. So we're using Discord from now on. I'm using <laughs> Discord next time. Like Zoom, you guys are. I, I'm done with Zoom. Like I used to like fuck with Zoom heavy, but like now they they trash. Like, like they trash now. Like you, you want to charge me to go like to to record like my conversation? <laughs> like that's weird. But um, yeah, like. So, so you said like in upstate New York, you was having like shotguns and stuff like pulled up on you. Like it was, was just that? like the one time because uh, how, I was, what was that? What was that experience like? Uh, I had to run. That's it. That was the experience. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! It was a. Uh, I think it was one of the best days, though. Honestly, it was just hanging out. <laughs> it was the best day. <laughs> yeah, it was like I got to hang out. Like actually went out and like I think I was like sixteen or seventeen, um, and just hanging out with these like friends. And there was this one girl I had like a crush on. Uh, I was just like, oh, this is so fun. We're getting in trouble together. <laughs> and uh, like our friend, our friend Christian and Lindsay, we we're all just hanging out. And then we went to my house and then we're just like, like doing dares and stuff like that. You know, typical teenage stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, it was one of my favorite. I, no, I was 15 because I have the number 15 tatted on me. So just to remember. Yeah. So. Oh, break. shit. That's dope. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so, so, um, what, what do you want to, like, like, how do you see yourself growing musically? Like, do you see yourself, like, like, what kind of, like, styles, like, other styles of music do you want to make? Because I really like, uh, like the, I, I don't want to say, like, it's, like, lo-fi, kind of, because, like, when I was, like, listening to some of your stuff, because it's, like, soothing a little bit, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, like, listening to it, I'm, like, yo, this has, like, like, a lo-fi, like, kind of, like, chill, like, vibe to it um like what what other like styles of music do you see yourself like making that's interesting because the new album has like different styles because like I, I don't like I said I don't want to limit myself um so like I've already started doing like different styles like my indie alternative um there's a heavy metal one but it's not on the album but there's a heavy like heavy metal song mm -hmm. um uh, I can post a snippet on Twitter, but it's, like, one of my favorites. I just, it's really hard because when you're screaming, like, it's, uh, when you're just using a phone still for, like, the fourth year, third, fourth year now, and yeah. you're screaming, it's a little bit harder, but, um, yeah, like, I, sometimes I will rap, but, like, it depends if it's, like, a feature, mm -hmm. um, like, I'm just, like, it's, like, more of the darker darker underground rap stuff mm -hmm. um you know the cloud the ambient experimental i yeah. like to say my music is moody and very experimental um and i try not to hold my words back because there's mm. i was no res disrespect to little tech up but like i don't really listen to him but i saw something on twitter he was just like saying like he was he was on genius that's the that's the thing right genius mm -hmm. rap okay. genius yeah, and he was on Genius, and he was going over the lyrics, and he's like, oh, I never, like, I don't, it was, like, talking about, like, all these girls. Like, like cap rap, like. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's so rap. fucking corny, like, that's, like, that, what, oh, my God, I feel like every. And it's so crazy, because, like, he, and I respect him for admitting that it's cap rap. Yeah. And I respect him more than I respect uh, most artists, like, that 
you know, that cap rap, but don't admit that they're cap rapping. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's like the difference. Like, that's the only reason why I kind of give Lil Tecca a pass. Because he is, he's admitting that, yeah, I'm a cap rapper. Like, all these rappers are cap rappers. <laughs> like, most, most of them are cap rappers. Yeah. But, but I want you to, like, uh, continue on what you were saying with, with, with the little Tekka thing. Yeah, pretty much. I just got really upset. I was just like, I'm, like, I'm glad he admitted, but I'm just like, that just keeps, like, that's, that's what people listen to. I'm like, mm-hmm. why do you, like, it's hard. It's like, why do you listen to that? But, like, what? Are you listening to the beat? Because I know a lot of people like this is a nice beat, and I get disrespected because I'm like, bro, I put my heart and soul in this one song, yeah. and like I'm like talking about crying and shit, <laughs> like, or some real shit, and I'm just like, and then you're t- and then you're listening to somebody that's talking about something they have never done in their life, and like that is like that's discouraging, and like that person gets enough, that person gets all the love and all this shit, and that's that's just not that's. I don't like this. I love music, but I don't like this shit. It's so annoying. It's frustrating. It's like, yeah. oh my god. Um, it's 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 kind of like it's definitely like a, it's a mind fuck, and like and sometimes it can be heartbreaking at some points because like you you like I said like you're putting like so much of like your soul into it, and I respect I, I love artists that you know that actually like talk about like, their life and stuff because it's more relatable. Um, and I, I feel like now we're getting to the era of where people do want to listen to the artists that are talking about like their actual lives and like how they actually feel about stuff and like, like you know, things that are just going on through their mind and like the cap rappers, I feel like, or the cap artists, like they're like, you know, falling off by like the minute, you know what I'm saying? Because like when, you, when you're a cap artist or a cap rapper, like you have to continually uh, either create a new wave or you have to follow the wave. Yeah. When you're like an artist and like you, you're writing about your life and what you do. You're creating your own wave. Yeah. Every that's, day. Yeah, I, uh, I. That's the thing about me. I don't follow trends, and some of the people in this particular scene that I'm in, like they just will follow a trend and you know talk about pills they never popped or. Like, this is the corniest shit, little peep clones, ex clones. Like, I'm just like, when this is 2022, like, get over, get over it. Like, be you, like, do something else. Yeah. Like, take, like, little peep took like ideas from like different artists and like made it himself. Like, you can yeah. do that, but that doesn't mean like take something from little peep and try to be the next little peep or the next bones or the next ex. Like, that right yeah. there is like, like and I blame like the music industry for that kind of stuff because like they as soon as like they died like the music labels like they were trying to I, I, my thing is I feel like they, they were scrambling and they're like yo how can we find like the next like little people or X and and you just, they just create these people not not obviously in a lab but they create them and then they, they you know give them a little bit of a mainstream boost and stuff like that. And the next thing you know, they're being posted on like these blogs and stuff like that. But we've never heard of them. We've never. Most of these artists that are really popular right now, I have never heard of them coming up out of the underground scene. I've never heard of any of these people. Like, and like, I, and 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 no offense to any of them, but like, I just never heard. Like when Juice World came out, like I knew of Juice World. Like, yeah, I knew because like a lot of people were saying like, oh, like this dude's like a another peep clone or like another like whatever kind of like clone. He I'm definitely like, wasn't. Yeah, I'm just like he was already like rapping like in Chicago. Like he wasn't like you know, and and I remember when he dropped All Girls Are the Same. I remember when that shit only had like two thousand plays on it. And I and then like when people and then when when All Girls Are the Same blew up, people were saying, oh, he's just another clone or whatever. I'm like, no. There's no way he's not a clone because <laughs> some there's just there's just some people that do actually put that work in and then somehow they blow up like you know they, they come in contact with the right people and it happens um how, how do you feel about industry plans oh not great i hate them <laughs> 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 dislike them like doesn't i know people are probably gonna come at me if they watch this but i don't care like this is my opinion like at the end of the day but like um i just don't like them they, i feel like they don't deserve to be especially tiktokers oh my god they're the biggest oh, industry, they're the, industry oh. plant i hate them TikTok, i hate oh, them TikTok artists is crazy. Hate, the hate within me is like oh bleeding out <laughs> like yeah. shit i'm just like i don't fuck with tiktok i had one the only thing that's on there right now is like a fan account 
um but aside from that like people will send me tiktoks like yeah it's funny but i'm not gonna spend my whole life on tiktok and be triggered by all these like fucking teenagers that are getting all this attention and clout and just um i'm just like i'm like, really it's not even like and it's teenagers when like i i don't uh like i'm not really like on like tiktok like watching that shit but like if i ever like want to learn about like the new industry plants like i go on youtube and like uh and like just type like and like there's like accounts industry that, plant <laughs> yeah like there's 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 accounts that like that break down like you know like who who like industry plants are like and like who are the new industry plants and like and I, and, and I didn't know that there was, like, I didn't know, like, how big music was on TikTok. Like, I didn't realize, like, how, like, how many people were actually, like, blowing up off yeah. of TikTok and, like, how many people were actually, like, you know, industry plants. Like, there's, like, these grown-ass, like, uh, like, this, like, this, uh, uh, this uh, girl band. And I didn't know that they were industry plants. And they were, like, breaking it all down and, like, and, and I was like, yo, this is how I, it, it, it just blows my mind how these, how these like companies and stuff, like, put money behind these groups and like these guys and stuff like that. And like, I think it should be illegal. I don't oh, know. 100%. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Because like, I, I just, I think it should be illegal because number one, the, these, these platforms are creating an artist and then they're the ones that create the playlist that you know that people get on to get noticed and like you're kind of like robbing someone of an opportunity because you you just these 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 record labels are just keep on creating like these 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 fake artists and they're not giving the real artists like a chance to get on a playlist or to, I don't even think playlists should be legal I think playlists should be illegal too because th there shouldn't be one person I feel like if there are playlists an AI robot should like calculate who's who's listening to what and and if the people are listening to kyoko she should be on a playlist not some person that because then like what if i'm like the one that's like you know making the playlist and i'm just like oh i don't like kyoko even though millions of people are listening to her i don't like her so i'm not gonna put her on the playlist like you should give the people what they want you know what i'm saying you should like someone that cur curates a playlist should have a uh, have a non-biased you know opinion on artists or like or, or what they have going on in their personal lives are you my conscience right now because this is like uh, preparing <laughs> this podcast for me i was like i'm ready to talk about all this this and this and i'm like oh it looks like he's uh <laughs> checking my list off right now <laughs> <laughs> no but like like uh, but like i know you feel that way but elaborate like I, I know like i'm saying it in my way but like elaborate in like your way like on, on more more about it on what you think like with the playlist and stuff with the playlisting and all that kind of stuff i know people have like their opinions on playlisting and um i'm not too against playlisting but like a lot of people find ways to just like pay for this that, and the third just to make themselves look good yeah. like for their image and stuff that's like triggering as fuck like stop you're lame you're a loser like don't ever fucking do that again I hate <laughs> you by the way like dead ass like i don't i'm not i'm not holding shit back like i'm a lyric i'm a, i'm good with lyrics i'm not holding that back it's raw as shit when it comes to like an interview or podcast, whatever, same thing, bring the same yeah. energy. Um, but like, it's like I said, I don't mind it if it's natural, if it comes yeah, naturally. Yeah. Like, I TikTok music, I've seen like some stuff on Instagram. Like, I'm scrolling down, it's like, oh, like you like music. I'm like, sure, not this trash though. Click, <laughs> like, um, because it's like, I saw, I don't even, I don't, I mean. I don't, I saw this guy who's talking about, like, some girl, on, like, on TikTok, and, like, it's just some generic, like, kind of, like, MGK type of, like, song, like, just bland rock Whoa. song, and then there, it's just, like, alternative press. <laughs> yeah, and then alternative <laughs> press is, like, like, covering all these, like, TikTok art artists and stuff. There's this girl that um, bitched about, like, um... I had to follow him on Instagram. MGK? No, all press. Oh, all press. <laughs> yeah, I had to follow them on, on Instagram. I think I might have to as well. They be posting hella bullshit. I'm like, yeah, stop, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I see because I liked them. Like, I worked at Hot Topic back in 2016, 2015, 2016, yeah. and that was more of like 
the time where it was like still like hot topic not pop topic all right yeah. and like i was like yeah like old school like i'm more i'm every time like i grow and like i realize things i'm like more appreciative like the older stuff like flip mm-hmm. phones and old stuff and 2000 year two 2k yeah. um you know Lindsay lohan paris hilton like type shit like that yeah, i'm like yeah, throw yeah. back like throw back yeah, yeah. and uh i don't know it's just like alt press was like covering all these like good bands like all this like good music and stuff like yeah alt press and now it's just like garbage tiktokers oh a tiktoker complained about her not getting enough plays because of her trash ass song get the fuck out of here <laughs> no and it's because of your industry plant like people can smell whether something is like authentic or not like i didn't know what mgk thought was going to happen when he made this transition from a from a rapper to like a rock star yeah and i'm just like yo like you are completely like and then and and then it so happened to happen after little peep dies <laughs> like that is like the weirdest thing that's like the weirdest thing about it and i feel like and and rest in peace little peep but i wish he was still alive because it's like because he died now you have all of these clones that try to that's trying to replicate the sauce and you can't replicate like you know that like you can't replicate goth boy click you can't replicate like that whole wave you can't replicate yeah. what x and all them did that all came natural that was all word of like that was like the first time where i've seen something on the internet travel by word of mouth people mm-hmm. would talk about these people like they never like they, they did people i remember people would talk about x like he was like some mythical creature or some shit like people would just be like yo dude have you ever listened to the new x song or like like back in the day when he was like you know on the come up like it was like real word of mouth like you know obviously people were talking about it like on the internet but when, once people started like talking about it like you know in person and stuff like that that's when i was like yo this is real like this is like a real like like people in peoria illinois is learning about artists in florida and like they care and like X wasn't even famous at the time. Like he wasn't even like where he, he was still in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was in jail. He wasn't even like that famous either. I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. And like, like those artists, like that are like the industry plants and stuff like that. They, I don't think that they realize that. Like, they, I don't think that you know they have like that realization in their head. They think that they could just make like a replica of whatever kind of song, and they think that it can just get popping. Like, yeah. What, what do you think? I know I agree with that. Um, I was I'm like I don't know I don't MGK he's a he's a touchy topic. Um, because like I know a lot of people in the underground so you don't like him and his music. I don't really I like I did like his like rap stuff like you know every you know once saying, in a while. I, I preferred him as a rapper. Yeah. Like, sadly, I prefer <laughs> like I I and, and I was I used I remember when he was first coming out and I was like younger. I was an MGK fan. Like yeah. Like, I was an MGK fan. Like, I, I didn't think he was the best. I was just like, oh, this is another dope white rapper. Like, yeah, <laughs> that was it at the like, end of the day. Yeah, um, that's, how, that's how I looked at him. At. I was like, oh, another dope white rapper. And then when he made the transition to rock, I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I was just like, hold up. Bro. Yeah. Um, like, You're about to kill your career. <laughs> like, I mean, he's doing it quickly. Yeah. Um, But like, he's, I, I like, he's definitely I don't talented. Know. Don't get me wrong, he's talented. He's, yeah, and like he can play the guitar. I, he's a he's a. I, I would. I'm not going to say he's a musical prodigy, but he's definitely talented. He could play a lot of instruments and stuff like he's that. He's an actor too. Yeah, he, and he's an. Actor. He's actually a really good actor. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen him. Yeah, I've seen him acting a couple things. Yeah. Yeah, he has like I think he has like a movie coming out with Mod Son. Um sure. and yeah, it, it, I see. I saw a trailer and I was like, oh, it's pretty cool. Um, but like everybody's like, oh, he's like, you know, a pedo and stuff like that. I'm like. You know, I didn't, like, know about his little comment yeah. about, like, Kendall and stuff. And I, oh, I did crazy. not know that at all. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, like, that's weird as fuck. And, like, people, oh, like... Oh, yeah, he crazy for that. That is something that I would never say, like... Never. Like, yeah. <laughs> never. That is wild. I'm like, oh, Dang, I forgot like, that he, <laughs> he just reminded me he said that. Like, wow, that is crazy. Because he was, like, 20-something, and he was... And Kendall was, like, 16 years old or some shit like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Because... Uh, I'm just like, that was... Like, if he didn't say that wild shit, like, he... His image would still be, like, not as tainted. Yeah. Um... But like, I feel like his image is really tainted because he's talking about how he like he's like in his thirties talking about how he wants an emo girl and like he's talking about like and then he's like talking about like teenage like rage. I know, and, 
I I'm know. like, yo, how are you in it's your thirties so making songs about teen rage? Like, and <laughs> like that's the thing that I don't get about these industry plants. Like, and that's like my thing. Like, it's a bunch of grown ups playing dress up. Okay, well, okay. That, that's what most of that's what most of the that's what most of the industry plants are. And that's what I really got a problem with. Like, it's a bunch of grown ups. Like, I don't have a I don't really have an issue with the teenagers. Like the real, like, you know, like 16 to like 19 year olds and maybe 20, you, you get a pass. But like once you're like in like like once you're like 28, 34, 33, and you like doing all that weird industry plan stuff, that's when I'm just like, yo, bro, you gotta chill out. You should just be an A and R or something. You don't gotta do all this stuff. You ain't gotta talk about being a teenager when you're not a teenager. Like <laughs> Yeah, I mean, definitely I don't agree with the talking about teenager when you're like, you know, in your 30s and stuff. But my thing about like just in general, not even just as an art artist like, you know, perspective or whatever, but like just as a grown up in general, like I see I see so much like terrible comments and like about like oh like when you when you're like 30 something years old you're supposed to act your age first of all bitch you don't act a number a number is just a number at the end of the day yeah. second of all you're not when you turn 30 years old does not mean you're already wrinkled and dying like well actually yeah, you're yeah, dying. Yeah. but like you don't have to wear you don't have to like dress, dress apart. like yeah like you, could you can still, just let your art speak for itself yes so i'm just like for me like that's I, my thing when I like I look young like I can you know I I don't even what's dressing like a teenager like I don't <laughs> I don't know like no nah, like put... like you like it's, it's it's hard to explain like you know like 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 if MGK is talking about he want an emo girl and he in the music video was being shot in a high school classroom then I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on? Yeah, like, <laughs> like I, I don't there? like that, but it's, like, I'm, I'm just calling like, the police. <laughs> I'm calling the I'm police. like, I always think, I'm like, does he like like dressing up like that? Like, I I honestly do like his outfits, but I'm just like, does he like that himself though? Yeah, yeah, and, and that's and I guess that's another thing too. I'm like, do you actually like? And that's what I'm saying. Like the culture, like, are you just trying to steal from the culture and get these people like to buy into you? Or do you actually care about like you know like you know the, the the culture like like the underground scene whether it be the underground scene or the punk scene, the the screamo scene whatever like like my my thing about it is though like don't like I I just don't like people that like to get involved in things because they can get a profit off of it. Yeah, he's pretty much doing that with the rock scene and then everybody like bands like hate him and I'm like I understand that like he yeah. talk about like wearing like boots or fans or something at one point saying like one thing and then another thing afterwards and just making himself look bad i'm like man like what happened to you being a rapper bro like just be a rapper and just like yeah. go back to your like you being yourself like yeah. like i i mean i do like like he, he's an attractive person i'm i'm just gonna put that out there but so is megan fox like megan <laughs> fox can still get it like they're both very attractive people and i'm like i'm happy for them like that's good but it's just like I don't like the uh, I've I've heard one song by him, the rock one, the rock one, one of his rock songs. <laughs> yeah, the, rock I, one. <laughs> the rock one. It was uh, the villain. It was, it was like <laughs> it was, <laughs> fake fan. <laughs> um, it was one. Of, it was like the Valentine something, whatever. But it was with Megan Fox in it. And I was like, oh, I mean, it's very generic, very empty. I don't hear rawness. I hear like I hear forced lyrics. Like it's yeah. just. It's disappointing because, like, I know he, I know he, like, loves, like, rock music and, like, metal and stuff. And he, uh, he went to Warp Tour a couple times and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But, like, I'm just like, bro, get I with just, it or get out. <laughs> yeah, I, I just think that, like, he probably saw an opening when Lil Peep passed on because, like, when Lil Peep died, like, I feel like a lot of artists were like, oh, shit, now it's my turn. Like, yeah. <laughs> Because Lil Peep was the Lil Peep was the guy. Like he was he was the one. Like if he was still, I, I think he, I, I think he would argue probably be like one of the biggest artists out right now. Oh, hundred percent. I thought about this yesterday. <laughs> I, I'm, I I was just like just just like when he, when he dropped like you know come over when you're sober part one. I was like okay this 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 album is the one right here. Like this mm -hmm. one is gonna like he's about to transcend. The under because like he was kind of like underground at the time, but then like when he dropped Come Over When You're Sober, he was signed to the label. Mm -hmm. Um shitty label. It, it was a shitty label. Yes. Like his oh, mom sued his mom sued them. 
Oh shit! Okay, I didn't. I ain't. Uh, well, I know his mom was suing him. I didn't know that it was shitty because I saw like I remember like watching like his documentary and stuff. Like I know like like when he was alive, like the label kind of showed him love, but I didn't know that like because what well, didn't they say like they were like you know giving him like like drugs and stuff like that, supplying mm-hmm. him with like shit like that. That like now that shit is like kind of like fucked up. But also, man, stay off the drugs, kids. Like stay, stay off like. Like, yeah, drugs. stay off the fucking drugs like that like and, and and that's like another thing that i hate about like music is that like the drugs and stuff that get involved like and and people think that they have to like do drugs to make good music right dude oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i i mean i mean not even gonna lie like i like i had that little short moment where i'm like oh i have to do this with, like, with drugs but, like i was like no like i need this to be as raw as possible and like I just like started like you know putting my the pen to the paper and like just kind of did it, but yeah. like it's just like why like you you're I've gotten comments on some songs where it's like this sounds like little peep. I'm like I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I have two tits and a vajay. I am a woman. All right, <laughs> so don't say that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So what, what, um, so like when, when you're on Twitch and stuff, like, are you, are you showing music? Cause I was like watching some of that stuff that you do. Cause I saw like, you were like doing like a screen, like you're writing a screenplay. Cause I was doing just my research and stuff, just looking. And then like, uh, one thing I noticed was like, uh, like you, you had like low, really low views. And then like the views were going up. How did that feel? Cause like, I was just like watching. I was just like, cause like, I just went to like the history and stuff and I'm just like, oh shit. Like. It went from like three views to three hundred to like not like it was just kept on going up. Like how like how was that like you know growing up like a like a like just being on Twitch and just being um, part of that? I don't pay attention to views because like that's like for like a lot of streamers. I can speak for a lot of streamers. It's like yeah. very you know also discouraging. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's nice. Like you know, I don't stream every day. I don't have a schedule because like it's like a strategic thing. Also because you know, life outside of, uh, streaming, mm-hmm. um, and it's just, like, I'll come back, like, a week later or two, and just, like, everybody's, like, oh, I missed you type of thing, so it's, like, kind of, like, if you stream every day, like, it depends on the person, it's kind of, like, the views are gonna just stay, like, stagnant, but if you do it, like, every, you know, week, if you stream, like, two days a week, and then, leave for a week and then do it again like there's that chance where like views can go up and stuff like that so it's just mm. like i like i said like i'll go t- to find clips so because i'm trying to make a compilation um and then i'm like oh like i'll i peep it for like for like a little bit and i'm like oh that's really cool and then i'll just like watch the video anyways but mm. um it's it's nice though um it's just i wish i i was more present when i first started out but stuff happened and um, but people do enjoy <laughs> my chaos, my, my chaos, my chaos, my chaotic ass and stuff. Um, I, uh, when I started out, I got nominated to be a rising streamer, um, award. And I was like, that's really cool. Like it, the nomination good. itself is like, cool. Like I didn't get yeah. it, but I was like, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. Um, people miss you. Uh, you just gotta have something to offer if you're like me fucking crazy crackhead sometimes <laughs> chill screaming at video games then there's something there you know what, so. what, uh, what video games do you uh because i get inspired by a lot of video games are there any video games that inspire you um <coughs> um yes but like for more of a experience i don't know how to say it like life is strange like definitely is an inspiration because yeah. it's like you know, these events, like, kind of happen in my life or similar, that feeling. Um, yeah. There's there's uh, Red Dead. I do like Red Dead a lot. Red I do Dead like, is dope. It's, it's great. I love yeah. it. I, I was just, uh, I was talking about this with uh, someone else that uh, that I was talking about on a podcast with about Red Dead. Um, I, I just like, I just like riding on my horse at night. <laughs> I'm just like, literally like, just like, just turn on the game and just like, you know what? I'm just going to ride the horse for a little bit. Okay. You, it, Cause it's so like, we're so like surrounded by technology and all this shit. And it's just uh, like, it would be nice to just like ride a horse, go in the nature, chill out, like breathe. Like when you're not a crackhead energy person <laughs> like me, like, cause like, that's what I like to do. And like, 
I'll, I will do that or like GTA, but GTA is more, you know, chaotic. But like yeah. Red Dead is just like nature, animals. Like you don't get to pet them, unfortunately, except for the yeah. horse. But and you get to pet the dog too. If you have a dog, you get to pet Oh, the dog. yes, yes, yes. I yeah. am. <laughs> um, well, uh, there's Life is Strange, there's Red Dead, Kingdom Hearts, one of my favorite. Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom yeah. Oh I have God. a blanket over here. I have a lot of Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts actually. is really big in my childhood. <laughs> same, same. Um, yeah. That one, I think Kingdom Hearts and The Legend of Zelda, but mainly uh, Kingdom Hearts has been the biggest inspiration because, like, you know, it's, like, about friendship and, like, yeah. losing and gaining and, you know, it, it goes really deep. It, lately it's been complicated and apparently there's a new one coming out i have not seen the trailer yet or anything but i will yeah the I'm trailers just... I, I like the trailer i just i'm like like the whole like like I, i've just been kind of lost with the whole kingdom hearts series like kingdom hearts one and two i could follow yeah kingdom hearts three they kind of like lost me and um i'm playing like through it again so I can understand what's going on and how, like, he ended up where he ended up. And, like, I still am confused. So, like, yeah. It's also because there's uh, games in between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that's why I'm dumb as hell. <laughs> like, You're good. Because, like, yeah, the rechain of memories and all that stuff. Like, yeah. I remember they was, like, releasing all those. I was like, I wait for three to come out. Like, I'm not playing these ones. Like, Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought the same. And I was like, wow, there's recoded. There's chain of memories. There's 358 yeah. half days. There's 2.5. There's 1.5. Like, I have um, actually. Where is it? So are you pretty much replaying the stories of one and two, but with extra stuff? Um, kind of, yes. I started to, and I got pissed, because I also put on the hardest difficulty, like a dumbass I am. And, mm. uh, yeah, um, there's all-in-one uh, Kingdom Hearts right here. Uh, I need to get that. And yeah. it has, like, all of, like, the parts that, all of like, them. Go, that lead two, three? Yep. I need to get that. I need to get that yeah it's fun it's great um but yeah that's uh i stream whatever i want whenever i want so that's what's up um uh, what, do you watch anime uh i did this is interesting interesting question um i i you did, did or was... so you don't watch anime anymore no um what do you what are you into watching wise <laughs> I mean, I still, like, watch cartoons. Like, I don't care, like, how old I am. Like, not, like, you know, kid-kid cartoons, but, like, yeah. still, like, those, like, you know, like, BoJack Horseman cartoon. Oh, yeah, BoJack, um, yeah, yeah, BoJack's cool. Yeah, but then there's, like, the Owl House. Like, I watch that, too. Uh, mm. It's, like, I like to, you know, I'm part of the LGBTQ community. I, okay, I always okay. mess that up every time. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, I always like to watch shows that are, you know, Inclusive. that are better. Yeah, 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 and mm -hmm. uh, there's like Shira. She was really good. The new, the new Shira, okay. um, for the honor of Great Skull. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't know, just like I like The Office as well. Like I still like you know regular like shows. The like Office that. is hilarious. It's great. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, if you didn't like The Office, I was gonna leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. The Office is funny as hell. Um, what what do you because like sometimes I, I like to put on like uh, whenever I'm like writing something or like thinking of like uh, new ideas I like have like a like an anime like playing in the background or I have like a movie playing in the background on silent do you do you, like what movies uh do you, what movies do you movies do you, what, what, what do you like some of like your favorite movies that you could like play in the background for yourself while you're like thinking of new ideas to come up with um yeah it's hard because I am not like, I can watch movies, but I'm not, like, a movie person. Yeah, unless, yeah, yeah. like, I am a woman. The women go through things once a month, so I do watch a Cinderella story <laughs> <laughs> with Hilary Duff because she a bad bitch. Um, uh, but I don't know. It's mostly, like, TV shows, though. Like, I'll watch uh, iCarly still. Uh, the I old Carly iCarly. Right? Yeah, I, the new one... I'm not really. I haven't watched. Oh, I haven't watched the new one. I like all the. I like all the old, like all the old ones. Yeah, I Carly. There's um Victorious. I also like watch. Oh, Victoria. Uh -oh. oh my, bro. I remember my <laughs> home. No, like my homie. Like he was like trolling me 
And like he was like just fucking with me. He told me that he was dating Ariana Grande because I never watched Victorious. <laughs> he was trolling me the whole entire time. He was like, he was like, yo, this is my girlfriend. And like he showed me a picture and it was <laughs> I didn't know it was Ariana Grande. And like we was in, I think I, I think I was either like a sophomore or uh I think I was a sophomore. And I was like, no fucking way, bro. I was like, that's not your girl, bro. And like he like and it was it was like just a random ass like picture of, of Ariana Grande, like just just like her, just like you know, high school Ariana Grande. And uh and, and then like I remember I came home and I was watching Victorious and I was like, oh I was like he was trolling me the whole entire time. Like, Dude, she's so fine, bro. Like yeah. oh, sucks that she's married, but you know. That's not gonna stop me. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I watched Arcane. I don't know if you ever watched that, but that one's uh like an animated show. It's not anime, but it's animated. Mm. Uh, the animation and just the details, it's super amazing. Um, uh, also part of the LGBTQ uh, community type show. Oh, um, yeah. uh, so th there's that. Um, Legend of Korra. Uh, last, oh, and then, fire, yeah, yep, yep. yeah. Uh, last Airbender. So I also yep. like rewatched these. I I like recently rewatched um, Legend of Korra and Drake and Josh. Um, but yeah, that's just mainly like stuff I'll randomly put in the background. Mm, hell yeah. Um, so for the people that you know listen to you that always follow you, um, what can they look forward to like next? You know. Well, if you can't see what's behind me is a new album coming out may 20th so that's something to look forward to and it comes out this coming friday oh, yeah. um shitting pissing throwing up when i say that online bro i'm not literally shitting pissing and throwing up by the way <laughs> <laughs> this is it's just me being stupid but yeah um there's that and then i'm gonna be putting my energy my focus towards more of the 3d stuff video editing and voice acting stuff right now so Oh yeah. Um, is there anything that you like to plug? Uh, Twitter, Instagram, any other um, socials? Yeah, it's just at Kyoko's Garden. Um, that's it. <laughs> and uh, you'll probably see my IRL name on some of them, but yeah. Hell yeah. Um, well, I would, you know, I really appreciate you for coming onto the platform, being open, expressing yourself. Um, yeah. Man, this is a really good, even though we had to, like, stop it and then, like, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, next time, I'm doing only Discord. Zoom, you're done. You, you guys are, I'm done with, I'm done with Zoom. Because, <laughs> like, and, and it's so crazy. A lot of people have, like, asked, like, Yo, you don't do Discord? And I'm like, you can do this on Discord? And they're like, yeah, man. I thought Discord was only just, like, for, like, you know, like, like the, just, like, big chats and stuff like that. I didn't know it was for, like, you could do, like, video calls and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you can do, like, multiple people in a call. Oh, that's lit. Yeah. yeah I'm getting Discord on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting Discord. Um, But, yeah, man, Um, shout out to Kyoko's Garden for coming up on the, uh, on the Scotty Show. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm looking forward to everything that you're doing in the future. And, uh, yeah, any anything you put out, I'm supported and, you know, retweet it. Give, give, you know, give it a listen through, uh, give it a, you know, a, like actual review and stuff like that. And, and, and people, when she drops, please run it up. May 10th. It's also, it's not, not uh, May 20th. 20th. Uh, May 20th. It's not going to be on SoundCloud though. It's strictly no. on uh, Apple Music and Spotify. And yeah. Stuff. Apple Music, Spotify, buy the album, run it up, run them streams up. My Spotify is, my Spotify is dry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta run, the, we gotta run the stream, we gotta run the streams up for, for your girl. Um, but yeah, uh, the Scotty Show, Kyoko's Garden. Thank you for pulling up. Thank you.